Hello, fellas, my fellow electricians. Today, I'm going to do an electrician's tool out to show you the tools that I carry around with me when uh, I'm going to do a service call. Uh, I may or may not have all the tools that I need in this bag, but I do have those tools. Um, like a few tools may be missing that you may carry around or you may think that's important to carry around on your um, in your service tool bag or your little pouch that you carry around on, on you know, to fix minor problems. Uh, like missing from this bag, I don't have a pair of channel locks, but I do have them close by if needed. So this is just to uh, to show you guys what's inside of my Vito Pro Pack TP4 tool bag, uh, tool pouch, and um, uh, you guys may or may not have uh, a lot of these tools. Um, I may have something here that may surprise you guys or uh, inspire you guys to go get one. Or, uh, but here it is. Uh, we're going to start off by my uh, the front row. Well, this is the TB, this is the Vito Pro Pack tool polish right here, as we all know, TP4. Okay, uh, this is my uh, measuring tape, 30 footer, um, electrical tape. Okay, these two are my Klein. One of them is a Torque, uh, multi bit screwdriver. It's a Torque and Torx. I'm sorry, and the other is like a, a multi-bit screwdriver with the Phillips, small Phillips and uh, what have you, the larger Phillips in here. Uh, these come in very handy when I'm doing thermostats or maybe terminate something um, a, a, something that has a small screw that I'm, I'm working with. But they, they are very handy. And these are made by Klein. And they have the swivel head. And that's what makes it even better. You could turn without having to keep doing your wrist. You could just turn your your hand on it like that. That's the one thing that I have. I'm gonna put this right here. And um, now the first row, these are my Klein hybrid pliers, right here. These pliers here, they really come in handy. Really come in handy. I like them. As the rest of my tools, every tool in here, I like. Or should I say, I love. I don't just like just like any of my tools. I choose my tools carefully when I go out and buy tools. Uh, I don't want to have to buy tools. Um, every year because they break i don't mind spending money on tools uh that's gonna last me uh i don't buy anything cheap i buy good tools i take care of my tools as you see um if i have the time i uh, i'll clean my tools off i don't like my tools to be all dirty and things like that now do they get dirty oh absolutely but do i leave them like that no 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 these tools make me money and I want to take care of my tools because of that. Well, okay, this is my line, my, my hybrid, my hybrid pliers by Klein, real nice. This is my, uh, uh, I forgot the name of these here, uh, but anyways, by Klein, and these are my needle nose, but they also uh, works as strippers. So do uh, my hybrid pliers, and. Those two also come in handy. Okay, these two. Um, these are my Romex cutters, but they have the swivel, the kind of bent head for me to get inside of a box if I'm working on a residential or wherever. But if I'm got, I need to cut the wire inside the box. You know, we used to use a, a straight razor to dig all the way in there and just cut it just right so we could peel the insulation from around the Romex. But uh, I keep these with me because these are used for, for that. When to get inside the box, and these are made by Klein. These come in handy also. These are my heavy-duty Klein wire strippers. I like them a lot. Uh, and as you see, most of my tools are multi-tools because when I'm up on the ladder, I, I you know I do hate to come back down and have to switch out tools. And if I'm doing um, um, uh, running some conduit and they got a burr on or something like that, um, while and I'm stripping wire at the same time. I don't want to have to keep, I have five or six, uh, three or four or five tools in my pocket. I can bring this up with me and it can act as I can read the pipe as well. Also, I can use this or I can use this, either or. Uh, so most of my tools work as multi tools. Okay. And this is by Knipex. This is um, an insulated pair of needle nose. 
no metal whatsoever. And these come in very handy. Instead of putting my hand or touching hot wire or taking a chance that if I'm using, let's just say, an insulated pair of, uh, insulated pair of uh, needle nose. Okay, and I, my hand slip off or what have you. It shouldn't, but it slips off or an arc or anything. You know, I, you know, I think about that too. So I just bought these. And they don't have no metal whatsoever. This is not conductive. And I use these a quite uh, quite a bit. And these are made by Connectex. Okay. Insulated uh, needle nose pliers. Here, I have the heavy duty um, Klein's diagonal cutters. And the, J, the J2000 series, um, the 2000 series, journeyman. And these are really good pliers. They feel good. And they're really good. Heavy duty. Um, also, I have the Ideal 30, uh, 3430 uh, lineman pliers with the crimper and a fish tape puller. And I think these were a direct comparison to the, uh, I would say, the Klein Journeyman series pliers, um, lineman pliers, because these feel good in the hand. And I have to say, these feel good also. Uh, Ideal been around for a long time as Klein have been. And these are a good pair of Lyman's as well. Now, this is by Irwin. This is a, a multi-bit screwdriver, but it's an extension screwdriver. If you do this, well, pull it out. And that's, uh, it extends just in case you need a little further reach and pull it back like like so so much and go go in if you want it locks each one of these lines right here that's where it locks at and it's a real good screwdriver to have too as i said before all of my all of my um tools is multi-tools all right and this is the klein nut driver multi nut driver this comes in handy too and this works well with the rest of my tools um this is more or less uh, I like a tool bag to me because everything I have is in here I can use. What's missing in this bag here, but I have access to it, is um, the channel locks or the pump pliers, as you call it, or cobra pliers. Uh, I do have several pairs of them, but I, I have them in my other bag. Here, this is a, a, a marker. Uh, let me get something you can mark on to show, show you. It's a pen. But works as a a marker. You can walk. You can uh, um, you can write on concrete or what have you. Um, a peel off marker, and then when this needs to be sharpened, you don't sharpen. You just, you just pull a string, and to bring out more of the the white part here that you use to write with. Okay. Now this is my magnet. We all drop screws, pliers, or what have you, uh, bolts, and this. It's real heavy duty. And this was made by, um, where did I get this from? Hmm. I think I found this at an auto parts store. I can't remember. I can't remember which one. But it was O'Reilly's, I believe. But this comes in real handy, too. This is when I'm working in, in, in an uh, industrial setting. And I'm working in a terminal block where I have where I have to push the the screws in I mean I'm sorry in order to put the wire in I have to push the um, the latch to make to put the wire in or take it out but this is a this is non conductive also and this is uh, real good to have my marker it's a real good marker uh, permanent marker we all have one of those this is my Weha uh, this is a Phillip insulated screwdriver by Weha a real good set of screwdrivers. This is um, a square tip head. This is for my circuit breakers or what have you. Uh, receptacles that I can use to uh, that has a square screw, and I can use it to make my uh, to make my uh, to tighten screws up. This is insulated as also, and this is my also uh, insulated common tip screwdriver by Weha. This is really good. Now this is my 
21-bit uh, multi-bit screwdriver by Ideal. And it's a ratchet screwdriver. Either way, you want to... And also, it locks in place where you can just use it as a screwdriver. And this really comes in handy. It has a wire nut. Um, uh, you could tighten wire nuts with the back. Just insert, put it on and, and, and insert it in there and, and tighten it up. Also, you keep the rest of your bits in here. Some of the bits in here. If you choose. And also, you can keep in here. And this acts as a nut driver also. And that's my ideal. Um, I have my Green Lee level right here. I normally keep two because when I'm installing the panel, I put one on top of the panel and I can put one on the side just to make sure I'm perfect all the way around. This is when I'm bending my conduit. I put it on the tip of it. And I don't need it. I don't use it as much anymore. But uh, I still use it because um, I want to be uh, correct. I want to be, I, I, I like my work to be perfect, uh, next to perfect. If not perfect, very close to perfect. So I use it, but, and, you, and you put it on a conduit, you attach this to the, to the tip of the conduit, and you either make your 45 and you make your bends, 90s, 45s, offsets, what have you. It's a good thing to have. Every electrician going to have a level, measuring tape, and a multimeter. Uh, I am, let me see what's in here. Shouldn't have much. Oh, and my flashlight. My flashlight. Trust the old flashlight and a few wire nuts. I have it here. Well, now this 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 Vito Pro Pack did not come with this strap. In fact, this strap come off of my other my large Vito Pro Pack bag. This little pouch came with a handle on it um, and I took it off um, because I like to put I, um, I like to put it on my shoulder sometime so I took this off the big bag because I don't carry that bag around and I, I put it on this this pouch right here so I can carry it on my shoulder but this is all of my tools that I carry on my service calls off the truck when I'm getting out of the truck and Nine out of ten times, this helps me, or I can out of any jam or it repairs anything that I'm going in to fix, um, along with my meter. This is this this gets me out of trouble. Well, fellas, uh, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. You know what to do if you like it. You know what to do if you want to see more. Subscribe to my channel. Um, in the meantime, uh, be safe. Uh, continue to buy the best. Peace out.